What's up guys, this is The Roverman, and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to run off happened last time, um, fought some battles at Ponapa, Louisiana, but importantly, I did not uh, recognise that uh, Charleston was... I only had a few turns to surrender when they laid siege to me, and I didn't sally out. So unfortunately, I lost the territory. Um, which is annoying, but, you know, these things happen. Uh, the forces over here in Upper Louisiana have been cleared out, and then my... I'm going to knock this down, I'm going to build a church school actually, so I can start to spread Catholicism. Um, but the garrison force Upper Louisiana is moving out to Michigan Territory. My rake is actually going to head out first to scout the way. Um, I've landed another army here in Georgetown, and they're acting as a blocking force for the reinforcements the Americans are sending south. Uh, when this is end when this is over, one of these armies will go and attack and uh, knock out these previously Cherokee territories. Um, I've got an army down here being built to knock out the pirates. And actually, to be honest, because Hispaniola is quite important now to me, I might build a garrison there, a proper one, because this is quite a important port for me now. Ooh, let's build a Weaver's Cottage with my last amount of money. Cool. Oh, there's an agent down here. Send him on a long walk. This can take many, many turns. I should just send him with a boat. There you go, I've got my rake set up as early warning on the Spanish coast. Oh, there we go. I'm going to have to intercept one of those armies. I'm going to have to intercept you. Aha, they have sallied out. So let us do battle. Yeah, it's one thing these Americans are doing is they're pumping out. They're not pumping out lots of elite troops or special troops or particularly good troops. So I'm potential to do quite well with them. So because they've not really got uh, decent, fully balanced armies like you might find in Prussian or Austrian armies. At yeah. So I've got the artillery advantage. So I'm going to want to sit back I'm going to want to sit back and do as much damage to them as possible it's a very boring infantry composition at the minute let's do this to cover the flank I stretch this army up to this house because that's quite a cool little house actually trouble is though this part of the country it reminds me of a it's a basically it's a plantation owner's home that's what that is let's put cavalry on one flank cavalry up by the house of the master All these guys are hidden, so that's why they might dry drive this flank. Here come the reinforcing armies. All the way back here. So that's some provincial cavalry, US volunteers. More US volunteers. Quite a nice little chunk of infantry to chew up early on in the battle. If 
Watch my howitzers can't hit anything. Let's focus on the grenadiers and focus. Yeah, you focus on the grenadiers. There's two units of grenadiers. Forward grenadier unit, rearward grenadier unit. Comes the general. Because they do have fire by rank now, so they are. Oh, there we go. Then once they crest this hill, I'll start firing on them with my artillery here. Another howitzer fire, howitzer volley. Wow! <laughs> That was a great shot. Seventh Regiment of Foot, an elite unit from my earliest colonizing days in Mexico. Most elite unit in my force. By some margin. I'd like to think my Harrods might get some experience through all this. Now they've passed within the sights of my main artillery, battery, we shall open fire. Oh no wait, I missed this infantry. The second regiment of foot. Even more elite, triple chevron. Quite a disjointed attack. And eventually my men will rise up and provide fire. So you hit the garrison men, you hit the uh, grenadiers. I'm gonna hold fire. <laughs> oh, I get blasted by canister shot. Now, rise up as they're running towards you. Poor fire. first victims. Back to round shot and then pummel the general's bodyguard unit. Let's get my howitzers to change targets. Start firing on some advancing troops. One 
wish everyone was experienced. Lots of these American units are inexperienced. They are moving their artillery out. It won't help them though. Ah, native musketmen. Long riflemen that have made it this far. They're opening fire. Very devastating, but they are within rapid fire range of my muskets. So let's get my artillery to hit these long riflemen. Deploy my cavalry. And we're not going to get you. Let you get away with that. Hidden musketmen, so start showering that section of the line with canister sharp. There you go, they've exposed themselves. Firstly, let's make them run on. No, make them chase down units actually. Let's let my cavalry loose in the center. Make them chase down as much infantry as they can. Halt fire round shot. There you go. So these guys should chew up the, the 44th Regiment of Foot quite comprehensively. Let's change their point of fire. Spin around and hit their provincial cav. Let's get my artillery to open on fire on the native Bowman Auxiliary. Yeah, their provincial cav have been shot up, reduced to 50% of their number in a matter of minutes. Fresh unit of provincial cav. Oh, one second. There is a person at the door. 
Sorry about that, guys. I got a delivery. And, uh, ordinarily I wouldn't be massively bothered about the door, but, you know, this time I know exactly what it is and I really want to play with it. It's a Sky Adventurer Pro. Okay, let's run my McCavery away, because that brand new fresh unit of cavalry is coming in. And then let's start moving up one of my flanks. To be honest, I start moving up both my flanks. To be honest, let's move up my line. Bring this unit back. I would put send my cavalry, my um, artillery to blow a hole in the wall, but I don't want to blow a hole in the wall. What I want is to captured intact because there are American forces moving in um, there are American forces moving in like on the campaign map so what I don't want to do is blow a hole in the wall I'd like there we go and I'm going to knock just blow these troops out of the water yeah they're going to be pouring in some deadly close range fire onto my troops I can make these guys rout. Good, so I can send these guys up ahead to block off any infantry that run around the left. To be honest, same with them, actually. Let's run these guys towards the wall. To be honest, I could just run in. The gates are open. Okay, let's make this guy run in, if he can. See if the door's just shut on him for some reason. Then make this guy uh, climb the uh, climb the walls. If, even if I run through it, I don't know if I'll capture it. So I'd like to. There you go. These guys can run up here and have a have a break. Well, actually, you climb the wall up here, and then I'll spread these guys out a bit more to maximise their firepower. But yeah, once they run here, they're very tired. They can have a breather. See, because they, they were being a bit buggy trying to hit the artillery, so I want to hit them at both ends at the same time.
it goes up on the wall. At least all the guys that aren't currently down to assault the walls, let's get them inside and up on top of it. Charge my cav in. My other cav still chasing down those bows. Fair enough that they routed, they were being absolutely fired upon by everyone. <laughs> absolutely men swarming up the walls like bees. Is Mexican infantry? Eh, they're not so bad. Got so many troops climbing these ladders. Let's make this guy run over. run them down but to be honest now there's so many of them running up there's no point to be honest I think I might Throw them into the mix. The volunteers gone. Here comes the other Mexican cavalry riding over the horizon. Let's get my general involved too. Chase him down. There you go. Let's 
Let's continue the battle and let's turn fire will off all of these guys. Because I want to chase them down. Keep chasing down these units. Two. One. Because they're going to get away. Well, not if they keep running at that angle. And there's going to be one unit that's going to rout. Decisive victory. Good. There's no sir, it's revolution, but Louis the Sixteenth in this game is really good. I think, if I'm remembering my French campaign well enough. Cool, 600 lost, 600 are lost of mine, 3,000 lost of the enemy. Cool, cool, cool. Then I'll similarly, well, I'm because I've effectively assaulted Charleston, that battle you saw there was kind of a mix. Um... If the garrison there is pretty weak, I'll just auto-resolve that battle. Um, because I don't really see the point in fighting it again. <laughs> yes, if Austria declares war on me, I'm happy to... Um, I'll burn everything down in Mexico. Spain, sorry. And trade them Spain. No. I'm not giving away any of my territory that's in the Americas. No way. Savoy, Russia, Persia, Sweden. Oh god, the per Sweden's annihilated that Persian stack. Totally destroyed it. There is Agent shot. suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population to grow over time and produce trade income. Okay, so you all need to move in this direction. And then I will assault them. Yeah, I'm going to auto resolve that. Because I, I did just fight it. Good, and recruit some militia to hold your walls. Well, actually, I'm just going to move up these two to Savannah. Trade port. It's got three stacks. That is just a crazy amount of cavalry. Same with you. You're creating too much cavalry, particularly if you want to uh, remove you here. So if you move, then I can get you. Okay, it's marching, so I'm not really bothered on diamond formation. So let's go for reorganized procurement. Plus 10 upkeep, reduces recruitment costs. African light mercenaries and light cavalry sharpshooters. Plus one of management, plus one training level. Cazadors, they'd be quite cool. Foreign advance might be a good idea, just to get the plus one training, rather than the rather than the uh, actual um, skill itself. Uh, construction. George has got new roads. Here have newer ones. Farming's upgraded. Farming's upgraded. Up Louisiana. Let's upgrade. Cotton plantation. Good. And then are you? You're ready. Embark. Soldados, adelante. Let's get my galleon into the poor pirate rebel fort. Yeah, let's just auto-resolve that. A bunch of melee troops. And 
then I will build a wall. Then replenish. Good. And then I probably want to knock down. No, I'm going to nick fix the trading port. That's what I'm going to do. Right. I'll be careful of you to make sure you don't that you don't fire that navy at me. Fire that army at me. Sorry. I want to fight this battle. I'm going to fight this battle now, so you're getting two battles this time, because I've cut the recording in half, and I'm on 15 minutes of the minute, but I don't remember how much the last one was. Because of that, you guys get a bonus battle. You're in a pretty good spot. So just unlimber you. Here's not quite so good, but it's still manageable. Okay, let's rotate you backwards a bit then, if this artillery piece is going to be f awkward. No, that's not a bad spot. Over here is much better. So really I want to put them here. God, why is it deploying funny this time? Then let's reserves of fire well turned off. Limber my howitzers, send my frontiersmen to the right, and then let's go. Put my cavalry on the right, because I, I do want to chase them down this battle. Reloading! So like, they're Colonial Light. General's Bodyguard. General's Bodyguard. Okay. See if we can blast that not in that cav unit. Let's run my cav infantry up. No. Back, you silly buggers. Okay, so let's move in the flanks quite aggressively. Goes to focus their effort on that unit. 
send everyone else in. This is hitting the long rifleman. We want to get into a shooting battle with my uh, frontiersmen. Bayonet charge. Bring these guys around to support the long rifleman. Hope fire. Hit that unit of line infantry, because that unit's broken down to, to 80 men. They've got 139. Artillery fire. Although there's probably a. Let's continue this battle because it's a field battle. Pitched battle, that is. Oh, come on, what about actually? Good. May as well try kill the general. from a new neck. And then it's just some cavalry over here that are routing. Good, good, good. There they go. <laughs> General's bodyguard unit, no less. Decisive victory. Good. Push them back. The fighting in Georgia and Charleston, when that's cleared up. Um, God, 193 losses for 1,200 of theirs. Replenish as much as possible, then move up to keep the pressure on. But yeah, when this place situation is cleared up a bit, um, one army is going to go clear out them, one army is going to move north. But looking at the timer, I should hopefully be at the end of a reasonably long part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. We will continue our push against the United States forces.